Welcome back to Newswatch Southern West Virginia. It's been a cloudy day, but it's been mostly dry. Those temperatures across our area are in the low 70s right now. We're already seeing some places in the upper 60s, such as Marlinton and Pocahontas County. A little bit cooler up there in those higher elevations. And for the rest of tonight, we're going to continue to see those clouds. Those clouds will move out of the way overnight tonight. And then we're going to be seeing the sunshine tomorrow morning. Those temperatures overnight tonight will get down into the low 60s by tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a chilly start for your Friday. We're seeing some isolated showers for the eastern half of the viewing area. The western half, they're saying dry. We're not seeing any isolated showers. So we're going to continue to see these make their way down to or through the eastern half of our viewing area as the evening goes on. But after all that rain, we're seeing a lot of dry conditions behind that, and that's going to take over for Friday as a brief area of high pressure will take control. But before that, we're going to, or excuse me, after Friday, we're going to be seeing the rain make its return this weekend and lasting into the start of next week. Very high chances for some rain. But then after Monday, we're going to be seeing that drying out for the rest of next week. Much lower rain chances by Wednesday and Thursday. And for the weekend, we're going to be seeing some rain. About a 70 or about a 50% chance of rain for your Saturday. The high temperature is only going to get around 71 degrees. And it's a similar story for Sunday. The temperature will get just a little bit warmer, around 73 for that high. But the chance of rain will be a little higher at 80%. So definitely going to be seeing some rain on and off this weekend. You're definitely going to need that umbrella. For Saturday, we're going to be seeing that level one flood threat for the entire viewing area. We are expecting some heavy rain to set up in some locations on Saturday, so we could be seeing some isolated flooding issues. Tomorrow night is another night of Friday night football. It's going to be cool during the game, only in the 60s. Around kickoff, it'll be in the upper 60s, those partly cloudy conditions through the game. We will be staying dry through the game, though, so you're not going to need that umbrella. And then about halftime, the temperature will be a few degrees cooler in the mid 60s. And then for the next seven days, a dry Dry day tomorrow with that sunshine, a warmer temperature of 77 for that high. And then for the weekend, the showers are going to make their return. About a 50% chance on Saturday to 80% chance on Sunday. That's going to last into Monday as well before drier ending to the week next week. We're going to see that sunshine to end off this week and end off next week. Those temperatures over the next seven days are going to be staying rather low in the low 70s. Those overnight lows are going to be in the upper 50s to low 60s during those early morning hours. So you're going to need that jacket as you head out the door. We'll have more news and sports after the break.